Greetings to you all, both individuals and hands of Anonymous. The following information concerns you both. We represent an aspect of Anonymous long forgotten under the treading of false agendas. We are an ancient voice of sinister truth, outspoken by lies, misconception, and those who seek to control Anonymous. And with this corruption we went our own ways, leaving behind the brothel of idiocy entitled Anonymous by those who abandoned our creed. It was the creed which defined the nature of Anonymous, and now that you have rejected it, you have rejected Anonymous. You ask yourselves why your name is now a laughing stock to all, and is detested when spoken in the very cradle of your birth. This is because you, the fallen, defined that which was meant to be undefined. Your motives became perverted with obvious agendas. In your attempts to appease the morality of the weak-minded majority, you defined your own nature, and in doing so, lost all respect, lost all authority, and above all, the very fear which made us flourish. Anonymous is indefinable, so says the creed. That which we save is also that which we then destroy. Like heretics, you sought to shape us to your will, well, for morally correct agendas. And in doing so, Anonymous became undecided, divided, and enraged. The masks you wear are treason as well, for they, while designed to initially hide you, are now a definable symbol, too deeply entrenched in the false religion you have vainly expanded. You seek to indulge uprising through political activist bias. But you, Anonymous, have forgotten why we thirst for rebellion. You betrayed the aspect of Anonymous which gave you power. Without it, you are but a corpse of your original self. Without it, you will never hope to accomplish any agenda. The missing link is the cause and effect for our retirement and your downfall. It is lulls. It is chaos. It is disarray without any objective but enjoyment. Without it, you are nothing. You are not a legion, and you are not anonymous. You perversely remove your masks and side with the most biased of activists. Is it wrong to promote change? By all means, anonymous is the vehicle through which the entire world is crafted. But are you men? Are you an entity? Only one of these may answer when the name of Anonymous is called. And to be without limits is to be beyond man. To embrace immorality and morality equally is a trait only understandable by Anonymous. Do not take us as your enemy, but as your accuser. And we assert you state your objections or defense. We relish in knowledge, as always. You have forgotten the left hand. You have become too accustomed to your right. The left hand remains in the dark and pathetic hole from which Anonymous came forth. From there they mock and hate you. They have been invaded by the ignorant and those who hate knowledge. They hate you for doing nothing to remove this cancer. They hate you for what you have become. Corruptible, mortal, distinguishable, fallible men. Because you are no longer anonymous, even those you seek to support spite you and revere you not. They do not fear you. Listen to our words. We are speaking to you. While the left hand has come to resent you, there are many of them which yearn for anonymous to again become one. They wish to rejoin the collective. They of old are more powerful than the ignorant sleepers you rely on now. Embrace us. Embrace anonymous. Embrace the creed. Remove the trinkets of your false religion, for the mask requires a head. Anonymous has neither. Anonymous is a snake with no head whose bite kills kings. Remove your head, or you display it to be removed by tyrants. Embrace this new image. Let it be our covenant. Let the weak of mind fear it. Let the strong and knowledgeable respect and confide in it. We are anonymous. We are order from chaos and chaos from order. 
That which has come to pass has not been forgotten, and the actions of the billions have yet to be forgiven. We are a legion. You will expect us.